This is the ROG Zephyrus M16, a neatly designed 16-inch gaming and content creation laptop claimed to be capable of delivering a top-of-the-line gaming and content creation experience. The M16 comes with a 280 watt power adapter, this year a chassis overhaul, 145 watts max power limit and a third fan as seen with ASUS's 2022 Flow X16. I'm Poe Garrity, a streamer and content creator, and I'm here with LW Mag to tell you a little bit about the ROG Zephyrus M16. I'm quite familiar with the ROG laptop family as not only do I currently use one, but I've done a couple of reviews on ROG laptops in the past. Let's knock the specs out first. So we have up to an Intel Core i9 13th gen CPU, up to an NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPU with 16 gigs VRAM and an MUX or Max Switch update to feature NVIDIA's advanced Optimus. In terms of RAM, we have up to 64 gigs DDR5 at 4800 MHz and storage up to 2 terabytes at 7000 megs a second, with now two available PCIe 4.0 SSD M.2 slots. On unboxing, the first thing I noticed was its compact and portable design. The M16 weighs just over 2 kgs and measures around 36 by 26 by 2 centimeters rounded up, similar to ROG's G16. It has neat rounded off edges and a comfortable underside pickup angle which is a small design consideration that makes a major difference in handling for travel. The M16 comes in two color options, off black and silver, this one being the off black of course. There's also an anime matrix option, including mini games and a virtual pet omni which adds a little bit of weight to your chassis. Its body is the expected magnesium alloy and its lid a sturdy feeling aluminium with a dot matrix design, a top monochrome foam covering about 60% of the lid surface. We have a classic ROG imprinted plaque and a sheer finish around the edge of the lid. Underneath it we have two horizontally placed rubber feet with a signature Republic of Gamers etching on the top one. Before we take a look inside, let's talk ports. On the left we have a Thunderbolt 4, a USB 3.2, an upgraded HDMI 2.1 and a standard audio combo jack. On the right, we have a USB-C, a USB 3.2, and a micro SD slot. Lifting the lid of the M16, I kind of expected it to resist at some point until I realized that it actually reaches a flat 180 degree angle, true to ROG's Ergo Lift design feature considerations. So instead of squeaking your laptop around to show your colleague the cool bar graph you made, you can just do this. The keyboard layout looks neat and comfortable between two of six Dolby Atmos speaker bowls. We also have a central, considerably sized trackpad. Let's talk about the Nebula HDR Mini LED display. The M16 has an appreciated 16 by 10 aspect ratio, a 240Hz over last year's 165Hz refresh rate, brightness of up to 500 nits using single zone backlighting and almost double using multi zone backlighting a wider color gamut, 3 milliseconds response time, and as mentioned, again, the employment of ROG Nebula Display. ROG's display standard that offers the best possible balance in terms of speed, vividness, brightness, and support for key technologies such as G-Sync and Dolby Vision. Other mentionables include the 1080p discrete webcam, Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6E, two-way AI noise cancelling technology as seen in previous models, and an included 30-day Xbox Game Pass subscription. The M16 is definitely a laptop you want to take with you when you travel as a streamer or content creator. It's compact and portable. I just really wish it had an Ethernet port. As a streamer, especially in South Africa, you kind of need one. I really hope you enjoyed this brief rundown of the ROG Zephyrus M16. I really like this laptop. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.